How are we doing? I'm Tobin in the den for my five most reached for Badger brushes of 2023. My top five Badger brushes. Now this is just the Badger brushes that I found myself reaching for the most often. I actually have been, was paying attention to this. It's something I want to do if I continue to make videos each year. So these are the brushes I reached for most often because I had them throughout the year. This brush is not in this countdown. However, it could be in the 2024. This is my Nameless Works Silver Tip. I love it, but these are just brushes that I reached for and used the most often. The ones that I just found myself subconsciously using time and time again. Ready to get into it? Let's do this. I've decided to do this from the lowest priced brush to the highest priced brush. So coming in at number one, no particular order other than cost. The Razor Emporium Finest Badger. I went and looked on their website. I originally purchased the first one, this guy here, in November of 2020. I have no idea how many times I've used it. I've used it a lot and it has withstood the test of time. About a year or so later, after the re release of this one, Razor Emporium came out with this. The exact same knot. Virtually the exact same knot. There are, there's slight differences in like color, but they're the same. Trust me. You can also get this in a synthetic. The synthetic is $20. These now sell for $30. When I bought them, they were $25. Everything goes up in price. And for $30, I really still feel like, and if you go and you look, I left a review on this one years ago. It was like in 2021 that I left my review. I still believe that dollar for dollar, this is one of the best badger brushes you can buy. Not all badgers are created equally. This is a finest badger. There's a little bit of scritch, but not bad. And especially once you get it wet, it's amazing. There's not a lot of backbone. It's not packed super tight. It is kind of, you know, it's a average fill on it. We have a 26 millimeter knot. That's the diameter, and the loft is 55. And this is a good size handle. It fits in your hand nice and well. My first brush, the Razor Emporium Finest Badger, 26 millimeter. I love it, I really do. And if you're looking for an entry level brush or just a cheaper badger to add to the den, it's one to go with. And if you're a first time badger buyer, give it a try. I love it. I really do. I'm going to profit nothing from a sale of any of these. This is just me showing you the brushes I love, and there's nothing to gain from me. Going in order of cost. My second brush from Samoog, the Best Badger 750. That's the model number of the handle is the 750. It's a 22 millimeter diameter with a 54 millimeter loft. I purchased this one in December of 2020. Uh, it says Excelsior. Most often now you'll find the Hereditas or whatever. It's still basically the same brush. They just changed the name. Whole other story. This brush, the cheapest I could find it, is also at Razor Emporium for $40. On Amazon, it's listed for $57. I saw one place that had it for $65. The closest price to this I could find was actually a couple of vendors, and they had it listed for $45. So $40. Bucks is a great deal, especially when compared to even Amazon. 40 bucks at Razor Emporium. Side note, this is the Samoog Galahad C3. It is their finest badger. The cheapest I could find it was $67 at Razor Emporium. There's one other place that I had never done business with before. They had it listed for 65, so I didn't even go there. When it comes to these, I just want to share with you guys places that I either do business with or have done business with. That way, I know that I'm sending you to a reputable buyer. That way, you, anyways, right? You, you get it, right? That makes sense. So why I picked this up to show you. This is their finest badger. This is their best badger. In my opinion, these knots are virtually identical. Like I cannot tell any difference. In fact, yesterday I used them once again in a head to head shave. I used left side here, right side here. And then for the third pass, I switched them up and 
this may be a teeny tiny bit softer and I bought this one maybe six months later so sometime in 2022 so I've had enough time to break them both in so what am I saying that if you're looking for a Samoog entry level priced badger if you really like the handle you know go with the Galahad I do like the handle I love the knot right all I'm saying is that I believe that this knot is virtually identical or is identical in performance the backbone you know, you got medium backbone. There's more backbone to these than there is to this. It's a smaller knot though, you know, 22 millimeter on this one. This one is also a 22 millimeter with the 55 milliliter left. So the only difference between these two handles is this one has one millimeter more loft. Other than that, just appearance. Finest badger, best badger. And decent backbone. It's got a good backbone for a badger. It really does. Um, if you're new to badger brushes, you're never really going to find a whole lot of backbone um, in most brushes. That's why they do the high density, and that's when you have to start looking to the high density, but then you start getting into the um, soap hog, which I'll talk about in a second. Number two, Razor Emporium, 40 bucks, the Samoog 750 Best Badger. Number three, from Simpson, the Commodore. The X2 handle, so that's the size, there's the X1, 2, and 3. They do that with virtually all of their handles that I'm aware of. There's, there is a couple of exceptions, but for the most part, you have 1, 2s, and 3s from Simpson, and that signifies the size difference. So this is the X2 Commodore Best Badger. It is a 22 millimeter diameter, a 48 millimeter loft. So check this out. I was doing some shopping around. The men's room currently has it on sale for $64, regular priced $70. And I'll have all the links in the description, guys. Finjerhan has it for $75, and that's where I actually bought mine. I have no idea how long that sale will be on at the men's room. Razor Emporium uh, does not have the X2, but what they do have is they have the X1, and that is for $50. That's a 20 millimeter with a 40 millimeter loft. But then they have the X3, which is just a little bit bigger than this one, for $75. And that's a 24 millimeter with a 50 millimeter loft. That is the best deal I could find because of being the larger knot, the X3. So that's a 24 millimeter knot at Razor Emporium for 75 bucks. Amazon has this for $73.95. To give you an example of just how good these deals are, the most expensive place I could find, uh, the X3 was $106.99, and then the X2, which is this guy here, was $98. So $67, even $75 is a great deal. And you know, on Amazon in comparison is a good deal as well. I do enjoy the Super Badger, that's what's in here, but for the price and whatnot with the Super Badger, I really recommend the best badger and this is what i reach for great backbone more than average with these x2s uh, simpson knows what they're doing they're not overrated uh you know simpson gets a lot of hype in different circles and it's one of those hype trains that i really feel like is well deserved and years ago when i finally jumped on board that simpson hy hype train i was like wow damn these guys have earned the hype because it really is their best badger is the equivalent to like other people's silver tip when it comes to uh softness and whatnot this best badger is better than this best badger and is better than this best badger um which is a whole other discussion right but if you're new to badger brushes and you have any questions please shoot me a message and i'd be happy to take more time with you and discuss the whole name game and what goes on number three the x2 from simpson the best badger best deal the men's room 64 dollars number four the high mountain white i have it in two handles the high mountain white from sawdust creation studios and i absolutely reached for this one the most often this is in the louisiana cypress bobby moffett is the artisan and if you're not familiar with badger knots the high mountain white is extremely luxurious there's no gel tips to it because it doesn't need to be gelled i don't like gel knots i'm 
I'm really on the fence with it, so I try to avoid gel knots, which is why you'll notice that none of these are really gel knots. And this one does not need gelled. It is just so soft. Um, High Mountain White, some people would classify as a silver tip. You know, there's this whole name game. There's no real structure to how they do things. Bobby's High Mountain White is 26 millimeter. The loft will depend on how he sets it in the handle or how you have him set in the handle. A link to his Etsy and Instagram will be in the description. Bobby does killer work. I can't say enough good things about this High Mountain White other than every person, any person that I've ever spoke with that has one, they absolutely love it as well. And it's packed. I mean, you got good backbone for a badger brush. It is just, it's good stuff, Maynard. It really is. I cannot, like, I cannot recommend Bobby's High Mountain White enough. And if I had to have one favorite badger knot that is like easily sourceable because I have other ones that they're like one and done kind of things and they were extremely rare and limited. But the very, if, I mean, if money's not an option, the one badger brush that I would recommend every single time is Bobby Moffitt. You can get the knot, don't quote me, but I think he's charging right about $65 for the knot. And then you put it in a handle. Some of the handles are only $50. Some of them are more depending on, you know, what he has or if you commission him to make one for yourself. But you can expect to spend right around $65 for the knot. Uh, and then $50 to $75 on a handle. The resins, the resin handles are usually $50 to $60. And then the wood handles will, of course, uh, vary greatly upon what kind of wood and what kind of work goes into it. So my fourth choice there is the High Mountain White. That's an oak burl. The High Mountain White Bobby Moffitt Sawdust Creation Studios in my Louisiana Cypress handle. Epic. Epic knot. Damn. Yeah, I love it. Number five, and these ones will set you back right around $200, depending on when and where you buy them. M Red, Michael Red, I always get his last name wrong, I'm not going to say it, but the M Red is M for Michael, and then Red something or other. He's out of France, that's where his, his shop is. This year, that's my Bull Goose handle, um, my M Red Bull Goose handle. These are a two-band Manchurian knot, which is just, again, another luxury knot. A lot of people out there today are calling things Manchurian when they're not Manchurian, uh, which is a whole nother discussion. If I'd be happy, you know, DM me about that too as well. There's a lot of knots out there that people are calling a Manchurian that are not a Manchurian. There's, you know, there's no regulation. There's no industry standard. You can basically take dog hair and call it silver tip or badger or whatever you want. Hell, you could call it horse or boar and there's, there's, there's no standard to it, which is one of my pet peeves. Maybe, you can, maybe you can tell. Anywho. I love this Manchurian knot. There's going to be a link in the description below. He does have some synthetics, right? But we're talking about his two-band Manchurian. The euro, I think, is, is like 190, 189 euro, which right now with the currency exchange comes out to about 192. I was looking at his work. He also makes razors and just Michael's work is just a whole nother level. And then to top it off, he has this just amazing two-band Manchurian. If you buy a knot a handle from Michael, you're going to get the best of the best workmanship. You really are. I mean, just like scroll through his photos on Instagram. And every time I do, I just, I'm blown away. The guy just has talent beyond talent. Even with his resin handles, Michael is probably the best artisan that I have seen that is consistently making just killer, beautiful looking razors, beautiful, uh, handles and then these manchurians if they're gelled they're gelled very little like i've tried i only have two of them and i wish i could afford more um but it's just you know so many things i want to buy in this hobby what was i saying oh if they're gelled they're gelled very very little when you get them wet you know and i, I sit there and i pick through them they're amazing they're just like these guys here from simpson to where and like this here they're, they're natural. They are. There, there might be a slight gelling to it. I don't know. And I don't know what he's doing right now. These are both a couple of years old. 
I doubt that there is because that's just Michael. The little bit of conversation that I've had with Michael, Michael is always shooting for the very best of the very best. And if it's not the best, he doesn't touch it. That's the kind of thing that I've gotten from Michael. I don't know him well. Short conversations. So that's my top five. I hope I did it quick. How are we doing on times right now? It's three minutes. I'm wrapping up this little segment here. It's the little big things, my friends. Regardless of what you're using, it's your shave. Do it your way. And uh, I love every fiber. I love horse, badger, all of it, boar. Um, yeah, it's my top five. Take care. See you next time.